Hey, what's up boys? As you can see behind me, I'm in Philadelphia right now. First time in Philly. This is like the number one fan base in the NFL. These people are fucking crazy out here. I can already feel the energy. For my bets today, I'm pairing up my VIP play, which is Jordan Addison over 42 and a half receiving yards. And I'm parlaying that shit with Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, Colorado, minus 24 points. I honestly think it's a huge mistake that they're making Colorado 24 point favorites. I think Colorado is going to win that game by 35 plus and win it with ease. So for that first bet, I put down $2,000 to win about 6,700. For my second bet, I wanted to diversify a little bit. The narrative going into this game is that Kirk Cousins chokes in prime time and you can't trust him in prime time. And you got to realize Kirk has been listening to that shit all week. He's going to have a chip on his shoulder. He already has a chip on his shoulder because he lost to Baker Mayfield by one point last week. It's a huge bounce back spot coming off of a close week one loss into this week two matchup. And it's a bounce back spot because they got embarrassed by Philly last year in the same stadium. So this time around, the Vikings are coming into Philly. Everybody's saying that Slay is going to shut down Jefferson just like he did last year. Kirk Cousins sucks in prime time. So I'm going to take Kirk Cousins to have a good passing game. He might throw some interceptions, but I think he's going to do well passing. And I think Justin Jefferson gets over 125 yards. I'm parlaying that up with Colorado minus 13 and a half first half. So Colorado played shitty last week first half. I think they come out of the gate strong and cover that 13 and a half first half this week. That's not really what I'm worried about though. I just want these Minnesota players to get their yards. Right now it's about three hours before kickoff. So I'm gonna get ready, head to the stadium and I'll see you guys down at the stadium. Uh -huh. Just a reminder, I posted my bets for the game and all of my picks for free in my chalkboard group chat. So be sure to join the chalkboard group and I'll help you profit this season. So the first half didn't go very well. Addison only had nine yards, but the way the half ended couldn't have gone better because Kirk Cousins connected for a long pass to Justin Jefferson and Jefferson fumbled it through the end zone, turning it over to the Eagles. So the Eagles would go into half up six points, but we got all of those yards for Jefferson and Kirk. And you got to think that Jefferson's going to be motivated second half to redeem himself for turning the ball over on the goal line. All right, guys, shitty first half. What really killed me is the Eagles run game is so good. It's just milking the clock. Uh, Justin Jefferson does have about 57 yards and he did mess up really bad. So I'm hoping that he's motivated to bounce back in the second half. Vikings get the ball to start the third quarter. I'm hoping they throw to Addison or Jefferson. I just need one of these guys to hit. Definitely starting to get a little nervous, but we've got two full quarters left. It's a close game. I just need one pass to number three, or I need a few passes to Jefferson. I know Jefferson will get his looks. I'm really just hoping Addison catches one 40-yard pass and gets us to the over. Third and 10. Pressure on Cousins, oh God, steps Addison. up. Addison. Throws deep downfield. Oh, and that's the rookie Addison for the touchdown. Turn Job around, Josh. Because the Vikings were playing from behind, not only did I hit my player props for this game, but I'm getting way ahead of schedule on my prize picks NFL sprint. The way that these NFL sprint picks work is you take a player to get more or less than his projection over the course of four games. And this is the first game of this four game sprint. So now if Kirk and Jefferson have a couple of bad games, I'm way ahead of schedule on this play. And as long as Tua and Tyreek Hill can go off one of these next four weeks, I should make this $2,000. I just got back home from the stadium, hit both player props in the second half. Honestly, at halftime, I was fucking thinking I might have lost 2,500, but we pulled it out. Yeah, now all I need is for Colorado to be up by 14 or more at halftime, and then for them to win the game by over 24 points at the end of the game. So as long as Colorado does their job, I'm gonna win $9,500 off of this. Just woke up, edited this video, and I'm waiting for my Uber right now. So just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting the channel. It is a grind out here. I cannot wait to get home and watch some college football, some NFL this weekend. 
if you know me and you've been following my journey, y'all know that I lost my mom to cancer about a year and a half ago now. At the end of the day, even though this is a grind and I kind of do wish I could just sleep in my own bed and watch the game on TV, live stream, like life is about experiencing things. To get to come out here in Philly and feel the feelings that I felt in that stadium last night, that's what life's all about because at the end of the day, whether we win these bets or lose these bets, one day we're all gonna die. We're all, our life is gonna be over before we know it. The shit goes by fast. So start living, have fun, do a little bit of gambling, but you know, experience things because we're all gonna be old one day. We're gonna look back and we're gonna wish we had. So that's why I'm out here. That's what's really motivating me to keep doing this stuff and making this content. And I just wanted to say without you guys, none of this shit would be possible. So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for joining the chalkboard group. Thanks to everybody who has hopped on the VIP plays, which we won last night. Shout out to Jordan Addison. Um, but yeah, have a good day, guys. I'll be home soon cranking out free pick videos. Thanks for watching the vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.